Hi guys, it's Megan. Um, it's about 9.30 at night on the day of my surgery. Um, I'm laying flat on the sofa, so that's why I look like this. Um, today was awesome. I mean, I was really scared about the surgery, but I got through it. Um, and if you're going to be doing a microdisectomy, I think you should think about some things for when you get home. Um, the drugs that they gave me like weren't completely worn off. So I got home and I was walking around my house. I poured myself a cup of tea, um, sat and chatted with my mom, walked around very slowly, mind mind you, but I, I was doing that. Um, and I think I should have just came home and laid down. I was just so excited that I can walk. So pain difference today from yesterday and prior to this um, surgery. I can feel my toes, I can feel my foot, I can feel my calf, I have no pain. Um, my leg extension, when I'm in seated position, I cannot straighten my leg in front of me. My butt muscles are just really tight and sore and I have a lot of pain in my um, pelvic area near my tailbone. Um, I have a suspicion that I also have a problem with my tailbone so that might not be um, everyone's experience, but maybe it is. Uh, my doctor is awesome and he called me today to um, follow up and just see how I was feeling. So we chatted on the phone a little while and um, he let me know that it's, it's just go slow and be normal. So I'm sleeping on the sofa tonight. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I put sheets on the sofa because I can use the, the back of the sofa to push, to roll like a log <laughs> to get up. So if you're coming home from surgery, you might want to sleep on the sofa. Um, put sheets down because you have to have something clean to sleep on. But I think it would be really, really hard to roll onto my side um, without having a, something to push against. So just something for you guys to think about. I've been using the grabber a lot. And um, going to the bathroom, it's not so hard to sit and, you know, go to the bathroom. But... Um, reaching the flusher for the toilet, you're going to need something to reach that with. Also, everything that's on the counters, um, don't have it way at the back of the counter by the wall. Have it towards the middle so you can reach it because when you extend your arm out, you can't bend forward to, to get that. So things that you think are at waist level really are further and you have to bend. Um, just some interesting things I'm noting. Um, my pain is probably an eight. Um, right at the surgical site, but I'm laying on ice. Um, I'm trying really hard not to take narcotics, but I might cave in and just take a muscle relaxer um, so I can sleep tonight. So anyway, uh, that's my update. And this is about 14 hours out of surgery. I did walk with my boyfriend while he walked the dog. We walked around um, the end of our street. Um, not very far, but I got to walk on flat ground slowly, and it was really nice to do that, um, and to be outside walking. So, um, have hope, have faith that, um, when you come out of surgery, you're going to be feeling a lot better. Uh, good night, guys. Thanks.